Question of the day. Women say that 80% of men are unattractive or below average. Is it that women's standards are just a bit too high? Let's talk about it. here. Welcome back to Charisma Daily. If you're new around here, hello. Women say that 80% of men are below average. Is it that women's standards are too high? We're going to talk about it. I'm going to showcase some, uh, some case studies and share with you what are women saying? Why would 80% of women say that Sorry, so why would women say that 80% of men are below average? That's a large number. So according to an article written by Irina on the Good Men Project, she says women say 80% of men are below average. According to a study by the dating app, OkCupid, found that women find 80% of men unattractive or below average. She says, as a woman myself, I can understand why women just want to date anyone. But I can't help but question women's priorities if the standard for men is so high that only 20% of men can hope to meet them. So the question is, are women's standards just a bit too high? Why are so many men considered unattractive? She says, I'll admit, I'll admit it, out of all the men I've encountered in my life, I've probably considered dating fewer than 20% of them. This isn't to say that most men didn't meet my standards. They just didn't share enough in common with me that would make sense to consider pursuing a romantic relationship. I believe they would say the same for me. It's not a gig a dig against men as people, but rather a misalignment of values and interests. I think this is true for many women. Most of my female friends in their 20s are still single and actively dating. For them, it's a combination of not meeting the right person and not being the right time for a relationship. However, she says, the women I know are in happy relationships with perfectly average guys. They've met their boyfriends in college or early on in their careers and decided to be in a relationship. They're average looking, have average careers, and have average lifestyles. But these couples are genuinely happy. They treat each other with respect and seem to support and love each other throughout life's ups and downs. So, Why do we fear being average? Well, could it be that we've been conditioned to think that being average is the same thing as being repeatable or replaceable? Nobody wants to feel that way. We're constantly told to be different, to stand out, to strive for greatness. No one ever wants to be told to be content with being average. But we have to change the way that we think about the concept entirely. Being average might just be the same as being normal or being a decent person just living your life. So the final thoughts, and my, this is my question to you. Is it really possible that for 80% of men to be, be below average in how attractive they are to women. Mathematically, it's not. This isn't to say that people should be an open book and date whoever comes along, but we should be taking a hard look at our standards and determine whether they are unfair to a certain group of potentially great people. So that's my question for you today. Do you agree that 80% of men to you are unattractive. If you're a woman and you are single, 
do you agree that 80% of men that you've come across are unattractive? And I'm curious of what the men would say. How do you find, what's the percentage for you do you find in this world, this realm of dating uh, in terms of women? How many, how many was the percentage that you find attractive? Or not only on a physical level, but when it comes to values and morals and things that you have in common, what is that number for you? I am curious to hear. 